Oh, shalom again. So let's get into this before the blog spot. Again, Sam, the blog spot again. Um, we breathing all day. Heal up to uh, Wendem Abraham. It was a very good, you know, reasoning. And hopefully we'll be posting more of that particular reasoning. ASAP has to do a little bit of edit work and everything. Um, a lot of very important topic matters that we discussed. And a lot of them I'm sure that many of you all also might have reasoned on or thought about and hopefully will help you in your walk with Abba, with Nagus and Nagas in the King of Kings and, and through his Christ, through our Black Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshia. So Shabbat Shalom, Sendak Salam. This is the 48th um, uh, Torah portion, the 48th Torah portion, which is known as Shoftim, Shoftim. And we've learned that this is going to be a blue moon as well, as we announced in the previous vid. But we have a couple of, maybe an hour or so, you understand, hour, hour, a little bit more than an hour, just touch on some of the basic elementals of this Torah portion, and hopefully we'll be going to more details within our um, uh, Shabbat um, conference call or Shabbat um, communications and, you know, our Shabbatical call conferencing, let's call it that, the Shabbatical LOJ, Line of Judah Society, um, Shabbatical um, call conferencing. And hopefully we'll be able to establish one for the disciples as well and for different ones who are in different areas also ministering and are co-partnering. We can also, it's good for ones in those areas to also have certain call conferencing even though ones can't always get together. You might be in a state that's kind of big or ones are in different areas. Still to have your own kind of conference calls in that state can help to further, you know, gather you know, gather ones around, which is two or three are gathered together in Jesus Christos Getachin, Jesus Christos name, that he's in the midst of that. So if we are coming to gather, you understand, in that, those covered, in, in the covenant, and in, in the right reason, you understand, in the right season, then it's Baruchet, 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 then it's Baruch, 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 then it's blessed. So, Shoftim, let's touch upon Shoftim. Mm -hmm. Let's get into Shoftim. Oh, all right. Shoftim, and so Shoftim, this is the RSS, right? The RSS, the Goose and the Guest is the best. It's the Goose and the Guest that's less, right? So it's number 48, right? Let's get another marker. This marker is, 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 is whacked out, right? You know, with, um, let's, let's use some black, all right? Because we're coming out of the blue, we're getting into the black, and this one is known as uh, show, what is show fed in the old way of writing, show fed team. Now, Bamarinya, Bamarinya in the heart, we know as uh, Fe, Ra, right? Fe, Ra, Joj, right? Fe, Ra, Joj, and let's throw it over here. Fe, Ra, Joj, and that means judges. This one also is a little bit, maybe we didn't let the board dry enough after the cleaning. We might try another marker and see if it writes a little better. Anyway, Fe, Ra, Joj, Fe, Ra, Joj. The number 48, the Rathafari Sabbatical or Shabbat study number 48. So we're in Devarim, right? Devarim, which means the words, right? Devarim is the words. These are the words, right? And we hope that all the ones and ones will be able to get a copy of each of the um, four portion um, booklets because it makes a good, uh, you know, home study. You can use the internet. The wiki, you know, we refer to the wiki um, pedia on the compilation for these five parts, but, you know, we don't know how well we can um, rely and we should really deep end on the internet. And, internet. and after all, books, you know, printing is coming, you know, printing always been around books, you know, 
we could just do a lecture on books and everything, but let's get into this part of show. That's part of show here, uh, show, uh, show for, show for, show for team, show for team, right, show for team. In the modern, they, they now spell the PH, and so the PH, right, they'll put the F. You know, so I want you to note that. We just decided to go to the PH here because we wanted to touch on uh, this particular document right here, which is uh, Gerald Macy's uh, Book of the Beginnings, right? Gerald Macy, Book of the Beginnings, and this is Volume 2. I think on page 63, there's some very interesting notes that we also want to share with the brothers and sisters on Shoftim. Now, Shoftim means the judges, the judges, right? The judges, right? Uh, it's the first word in the parasha, and it's the 48th weekly um, Torah portion for our Orit Kufub, right, in the annual um, Judaic, and for Ainai as a lion of the tribe of Judah and the society of his imperial majesty, and for Ainai brothers and sisters, in our cycle of Torah portion readings and feedings, it is number Arba Cement, or Arba Cementenya, or it's the 48th, right? In our cycle of Torah readings, and it's the fifth now in this particular book, in this book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy Bamarinya, the Orit uh, Zedagim, and in the Hebrew it is known as Devarim, and Devarim means the words. These are the words. Um, there are two kinds of words because there is. Um, um, the two truths. I want you to make a note of the two truths. And we'll find that there are this duality. You understand? Even when we look at the word individual, individual, the indivisible dual, or I and I, right? I and I, the individual dual. Now, let's get into this portion right here. Um, it constitutes Deuteronomy chapter 16, verses 18, to Deuteronomy chapter 21, verse 9. Now, we as black Jews or Ethiopian Hebrews in the uh, diaspora, in this Ethiopian Hebraic diaspora in the Americas, the Caribbean, um, and throughout the world, right? We generally read this in um, August or September. And so this is the last day of the month of August for 2012. And they tell us that it's going to be a blue moon. So this is like once in a blue moon, or this is a blue moon, and the real significance of that, I guess we can get into that as well. But we'll call this the blue moon, right, the blue moon um, Shabbat. Oh, okay, here we found our, our blue uh, dry erase marker, the other one. So we'll try to use that if we have more notes on this right here. So the Padasha, the Kufuk, it provides, in this particular Torah portion, it provides for I and I a, a constitution, a constitution. How are we constituted? What is our constitution? And, and I was speaking about the divine heritage. We're dealing with the foundation of the divine heritage. A constitution is a basic societal structure for the Israelites, a basic societal structure for Beta Israel. Now the parsha or this kufa, this portion, it sets out rules. There are rules for what? For magistrates, for kings, for Levites, for prophets, for cities of refuge, for witnesses, for war, and an unaccounted corpse, a corpse that doesn't have any uh, accounting for it, like mano, you know, right? Now, there's a verse here at the beginning, and it says, Justice, justice shall you pursue. Deuteronomy 16 and 20. And then if you see this right here, it has the scales, right? The scales, right? The, these scales right here. Justice, justice you shall pursue. You can see it down there, justice, justice, you shall pursue. We shall pursue justice. Let's go to the Metaf Kedus of His Imperial Majesty, the Metaf Kedus. 
And let us go to Deuteronomy 16 and 20 for a moment. So let's go to 16, chapter 16, chapter 16, verse um, verse 20. From the Orit Zedagim, from the 1961 authorized, um, revised and hard Bible of our Godfather and King of Kings, Negus and Negus, of Kedamawi, Haila Shalase, of Haila Shalase the first. So, Nitaraf Asharasidis, Kutarahaya, the Kutarahaya, um, what is it, 16, 16 and 20? Let's just check that right there, 16 and 20. Though in the Hebrew, sometimes it's a verse, it's a verse um, off or so. But let's just uh, read this right here. It says, uh, But he went uh, to Norzen, Amlakehe, Egziavihe Rima, Yemiya, Setehin, Amidara, towards Zen, Eunetanyawin, Afarda, Teketa, Eunetanyawin, Ferd, 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 Teketa, True justice or true judgment you shall follow. Follow true judgment. Now in the Hebrew is justice, justice. In other words, it's like in the Afro-Shemitic, even now when we say, really, really, for real, for real, when you repeat it, that doubling, so once again, that idea of the two truths is evident in that. You understand the two truths, that, 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 that duality, like father and son, that particular duality there. All right? So, this particular Torah portion begins off, right, speaking of what the Metaphysics, all right, our Schofield Study Bible. And uh, let's go to Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy uh, chapter 16, right? Deuteronomy chapter 16. All right, and it begins from um, verse uh, verse 18, right? So 16, verse 18. And verse uh, 18 says, Judges in the gates. Judges in the gates, right? Judges in the gates. says, Judges and officers shalt thou make thee in all thy gates, which... The Lord thy God, or in Rastafari revelation, the King of Kings, Nagusa Nagas Abatacha, the King of Kings, our Father, giveth thee throughout the tribes, throughout thy tribes, throughout the tribes. And this means the nations, the various nations of the 12 tribes of the Beta Israel. I think it's Brother Alonso. Um, who, who, who did the, some of the art on that and was working on um, presentation of the 12 tribes and in some of the visual arts and everything. Give thanks. I think I got to cite it on the, uh, on the FB, on the Facebook. And we might bring that forward in another presentation. But it says, And they shall judge the people with just judgment. It, it says in verse 19, Thou shalt not rest. Thou shalt not wrestle judgment. You know, when judgment comes forward and it's just judgment, don't wrestle it. You over saying just acknowledge a true, a true that. Right? Thou shalt not rest the judgment. Thou shalt not respect persons. Should not have a favoritism because it's somebody you like, or this brethren, he gave me herb, or he gave me, bought me some ital, or such and such, and therefore, well, you know, you feel indebted like you sell your soul. No, 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 no. I tell them, you know, I address. It says, thou shalt not respect persons. Now, Bamarinya, if we are correct, it's like you should not show favoritism. You should not show favoritism. Well, this man, you know, this man, and from Yad, like I and I from Yad, or this man, a Yankee, like I'm on a Yankee, or this man, no, 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 no favoritism. Or this man is like my fleshy, or but no, 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 no favoritism, right? Neither take a gift, neither take a gubo. Bamarinya, they talk about gubo, the bride. You don't take no bride, right? For a gift or a bribe, 
it doth blind the eyes of the wise. So even the wise can be blinded or compromised by accepting a, 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 a gift or really, more correctly, a bribe, right? And pervert, and pervert the words of righteousness. Pervert the words of righteousness. This has already happened within one of our institutions, namely the Ethiopian World Federation. You know what I'm saying? In other words, what I'm saying is that we're speaking about constitution. We're speaking about judges. Before we can get into the constitution and bylaws, we have to address our divine heritage. You understand? Know the foundation. You understand? Know we must go down to the foundation. And that's why this Sabbatical Torah portion is a groundation. All right? Groundation. That's a word we haven't heard much in Rastafari in a very long time, but that word needs to, not the word itself, but the word and what it symbolizes, which is the Bible study, Torah portion, reading and feeding is very important. So we'll know what is our, what is the covenant, what is our rights, our duties, our privileges, and our blessing, and how to attain them according to Jah's way. You understand? According to Yah's way, and not I and I own way, or Babylon, worse than that, even Babylon, right? Um, thou, that which is altogether just, shalt thou follow, that thou mayest live, that thou mayest live, so it's about liberty, and inherit the land which the Lord thy God, on Revelation, the goose and the guest, Abatachin, the king of kings, our father, giveth thee, giveth I and I. It also explains another question about, well, how come more hasn't been done? In the land grant, how come more movement forward hasn't been done? Because if we take on the name Rastafari, there's more than just the name, the outer. There's the whole integrity of Rastafari, our al kidan, our covenantal responsibility. Because if we do that which is our part to do, then Jah will fulfill his part. But if we don't do our part, he's under no obligation you know what I'm saying? He's not moved by our tears and this and that, especially if we say we are his sons and daughters. There's a responsibility there, all right, that we have to meet. Verse 21, thou shalt not plant thee a grove, a grove of any trees near to the altar of the Lord thy God, of Negus and Neges, Abatachin, the king of kings, our father, which... Thou shalt make thee. Last verse for this chapter. It says, Neither shalt thou set thee up any image which the Lord thy God, Negusim Neges, Abatachin, hated. Now, when you read this in the context, you'll see about the howlet or the obelisk. Right? The obelisk. I know there's obelisk in Ethiopia, but. That's a whole reason then that we need to get into. Perhaps we'll get into a little bit more in our Shabbat um, call conferencing. You know what I'm But we'll definitely seek to present, you know, a video, you know, word, picture, and everything so that ones can grasp it and understand. Now, when we look at the content right here in the, the Torah portion, volume 5, right? And you can go to the wiki, Wikipedia and kind of follow along. It has... Ten parts. One, rule for magistrates. Two, abhorrent practices are dealt with. Three, rules for kings. Four, rule for Levites. Five, rules for prophets. Six, cities of refuge. Seven, landmarks. Eight, rules for witnesses. Nine, rules for war. And ten, the found corpse. If a corpse happens to be found, how do we deal with a unaccounted for corpse? All right, so we just dealt with the rule for magistrates, which are the Ferrat Josh or the Shofti. Now, here it says on page 244, it said rules for magistrates or rules for Shofti is that Moses, Mashu, Musa, 
he directed the Beta Israel or the Israelites, the Israelites, to appoint magistrates and officials, officials for their tribes to govern the people with justice, one, impartiality, two, without bribes, without any sort of bribery, money games to buy justice. Deuteronomy chapter 16, 18 to 19, it says, Justice, justice shall you pursue, he said. Deuteronomy 16 and 20. So the first part right here, we're going to deal with the name, the namesake. Now, some of you all probably recall, we've been talk, speaking about this right here, right? And even I and I self, you know, one will say this is planned, but if it's planned, it's by Jah and not by man. Right here, um, the conquering line, the tribe of Judah society, this is what we call our UCC or the Universal Churchical Code, right? The code of, of business. In other words, how do we order Jah's business in the society of his imperial majesty? You understand? How do we order that? Now, what's very interesting is that a constitution is already being laid down for us right here. This constitution is our divine heritage. Now, this portion speaks of Farajo to Shoftim. Now, when we look into our Shoftim, there's, there's one thing we want to do just to be clear on what we have read. And let us go to, what is it, chapter uh, is, is, is 16, verse 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Let's just deal with those verses, Bamarinya. All right, um, in them hearts. So now, when one it has um, come to a sufficient level of their world that his eyes or bar mitzvah and Rastafari and is able to read the Aliyah, the going up to the Torah scroll, would be to read that particular portion. So we will seek to do our best and bless right here. So from verse 18, there are two paragraphicals. Let's just show you this right here. There are these two paragraphicals right here. You understand? There's these two paragraphicals. There's one is from 18 right there, and there's two right here. All right? So we want to touch on both of these in this reading. That's what we just read in the English from the uh, King James Version of the Bible. So, Bessemaab, where well, where men necessarily caduce, ahadu, amlak. Orit zedagim, mi'rafa ashara sedista. I'm <laughs> Atadla Gubo Yet Ibn Yochina Oin Ya Sauralina Yet Adik Animak Allah Yat Ame Malina Gubo Atik Ebel Atik Ebel Behueta to Norzen Am Lakereg Ziaviru Yemia set a hina midder towards then. Ewnetenyawinafertekatel. <laughs> Yemiat Alawina Haulita Leante Atakum Ataku Kabur Lek Alu Kabur Dinsu Kabur Lahailu Kabur Lek Edamawi Haila Selase Be Yesus Christos Begitachin Sem Yuhun Yuhun Amen. Now, that's interesting because that's what I was saying the howlet or the howlet. The howlet. What is the how The howlet is the obelisk. If you look in patriarchal times, that's what was established in times of Abraham, in times of Yitzhak, and in particular in the time of Yaakov. You understand when it says that 
the, the, the Stone, Bob Marley, Brother Andrew Selassie had a song about um, what Stone Pillow or something was his bed, so forth and so on. It was kind of a inspiration from Jacob and Jacob's ladder. You understand? And there was a howlet, and that first howlet is what we know as Beit El, Beit El, Beit El, Beit El, Beit El. In other words, all right. So now that's just a kind of an overview right there. We can go to um, verse by verse and, and and compare it. But generally, the sense is the same, and it does say Gubo. Gubo is a very very bad problem in Ethiopia. Very very bad. And it doesn't seem like the Ethiopians, the careless the ones amongst them especially, are able to remove that problem. You understand that Google problem. Um, don't worry, my brothers and sisters. Judges are coming to help you get justice. Justice thou shalt pursue. All right? Um, but in this time, what we need to really understand is that this system of judges of the Shof team actually comes out of ancient Ovia or ancient Ethiopia, Ethiopia. It comes from Ethiopia, the system of judges, you understand, or the show team. So please, stay tuned to the next portion where we're going to touch on where the system actually came from. Shalom, Shabbat Shalom.